Bluffton is so special because we are a family. Uh, it doesn't matter if you grew up here or if you just moved here, or if you're even visiting here, you're gonna be welcomed with a smile, a glass of iced tea, or maybe a glass of wine, and you're gonna feel like you're part of the family once you're here. Anyone that visits here, we will tell them to go to the Haywood House and go down and visit the Church of the Cross and the Oyster Factory and walk, don't drive, walk Calhoun Street. Bluffton is a very walkable town. Our customers, we talk to them sometimes and they're saying, you don't know how lucky you are. We used to have this on the Chesapeake Bay or parts of New York or Long Island or whatever. We used to have everything you have here. So once they get here and they take a little boat ride or they you know, just wander around town, they kind of fall in love and the next thing you know, they're the, your neighbor. We, you know, we, we moved here and, and we found what we were looking for. We found that, that sense of community, found that sense of place where things that are special about Bluffton are unique to Bluffton. I think the town's done a really good job of, of maintaining that small town feel. I'm sure there'll be more people, but I think if they continue doing what they've done, I think the feel, it'll still feel the same. Everybody is just so warm and caring and they look out for each other. And it, it just gives you the sense of, of being special and, and being a part of a community. It's how it makes you feel. And I think when you actually get that true feeling and then you embrace it, you start to live that genuine low country life. Bluffton is what I envision heaven being like.